I'm alive. It's alive. It's alive. Hey, 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 YouTube, NWN here, aka Young Nico, catch him in the Jota region flexing, and welcome back to It Came From Steam. Now, in case you don't know, this is a show where I debunk the myth that PC has no exclusive games. I try to find at least three things that I like and dislike about a game, and then I'll leave it up to you to decide whether or not that game is for you. Today's topic of discussion is Cloud Bill. It's a third-person action platformer produced by Coilworks that puts you in the shoes of a young lady that must run, jump, boost, and more to repair the mind of her injured friend. So what do I like and dislike about this game? I love the character movement. If you're an adrenaline junkie, you will love this game. Your character can run fast, run on walls, triple jump, boost, propel herself up, and shoot. I'm already a sucker for platformers, but nothing feels better than successfully boost wall running across multiple walls to propel yourself up a platform while dodging different enemies. This is just a very fast paced, free flowing game. The story sucks. It's told through these dramatic and boring monologues in between stages. You're like a war vet lying in her bed with brain damage and the character that you play as is racing through her mind repairing it or something like that. I, I don't know, it was stupid. I love the game's level design. This game has some of the best level design of 2014. Best part of it all is there's no one real way to conquer a stage. There's branching paths. One path might have a bunch of enemies to take on, the other might have you running through a small gap of bombs and if you get hit by them then of course you die. But if you do make it through that small gap of bombs, it'll reward you by setting you farther along than that easier path would have done. The game's enemies are incredibly cheap. In order to make the game harder, the devs made it so that you can't shoot enemies from afar. It'll put a shield up around them so then they won't die. But here's the catch. They can still attack you from afar. Maybe it's to encourage the player to keep moving, but when you get to the later levels, that keep moving shit doesn't work. It's just way too many enemies on the screen to dodge, and it can be overwhelming. The game encourages you to replay the levels. You get a grade at the end of each level, kind of like in Sonic, but it also takes away points for how many times that you die. There's leaderboards for you to compare your times with your friends as well as the fastest in the world. There's alternate costume to unlock by completing various challenges in the stage. So if you're into that kind of thing, they have that, as well as remixed levels. The controls in this game are questionable. I played with an Xbox 360 controller and you had to jump and wall run with the left bumper button. I adjusted to it of course but I found it to be an odd design choice. The game is so simple and most games use the A button to jump so why not this one too. It kind of seemed like this is just a case of trying to be different for the sake of being different versus being different because it actually contributes something positive to the experience. This game shouldn't be missed by anyone who loves a fair challenge. Besides the last few levels I never really feel like this game was cheating me. If I failed it was simply because I wasn't looking at the environment from the right perspective. You forget to sometimes slow down and take in what's going on, because of that you'll be dying a lot. And oh my god, the last level of this game, it was so damn hard I died 60 times before I beat it. But when I finally beat it, ooh, it was satisfying. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it folks. I gave you four things that I like and three things that I dislike about this game. I could have given you more, but I, I couldn't think of a fourth thing I hated, so it's just like... Fuck it. And this game isn't very graphically intensive. You can just tell by the footage. It's not like a super graphical game. So there's no excuse for not playing it. Any damn PC could play this game. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, but my city needs me.